Hey everybody, it is me again, as you can tell. Today is uh, Monday, November the 7th. Makes it day 311 on our project survey and more. Guys, as always, it's good to be here. I, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can tonight, but I do got a lot to say. So, And it's uh, 11 minutes to 2 in the morning, so I'm going to try to hurry. But um, I just wanted to say, guys, like I said, thanks for being here. It's good to be here. Uh, I just got off the friend, guys. Just got off the friend, guys. Yeah. Just got off the phone, guys. Another word I'm trying to quit saying so much, guys. Just got off the phone. With, well, not the phone. Actually, the Xbox uh, headset on Xbox Live with one of my buddies, one of my best buddies. And and the Lord just put it on me, guys. You know, we need to, we need to, our friendships that we have with people, you know, God made those. And we need to, we need to do everything we can to, to, to nurture those and, and preserve them. My buddy here that I talked to, I used to spend almost every day with him. I mean, at least three or four days a week. I'd go to his house in the evenings. You know, he's a he's a he's a single dad. He's he's got a little girl, uh, but you know, he he just gets to see her every other you know every other weekend. Uh, you know, and uh, he he's a he's a he's a good uh, Christian guy. You know, he's a, he's a school teacher, and uh, you know. I'd go to his house, and I mean, we'd just we'd watch TV and play Xbox, and you know, just hang out. I mean, I've been friends with him since I was a little kid, and uh, you know, like I said, and we both like food. You know, we both like Food Network and eating and cooking, and you know, so you know, we'd go to you know, we'd hear hear about a new barbecue place somewhere, and you know, we'd go run and you know, try to find it and this and that, and uh, you know, just different stuff. So, you know, we used to do that all the time, and and. Once I really, once I took the position of pastor at the, at the church, you know, that took so much of my time that I, you know, I just, I quit going, you know, and now I just see him every now and then, and uh, and the Lord's been putting it on me, put it on me this morning. He actually woke me up out of sleep this morning to tell me that. He said, you need to call him tonight. You need to call Casey tonight. He told me that. And I mean, I actually woke up in a sweat this morning, uncomfortable and everything. I said, all right, Lord, I will. And I did, well, I didn't call him. I, I turned on the Xbox and I saw he was on there playing, so uh, I talked to him on there. And uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to. Well, it's like I told him. I said, you know, we've got a church cleaning Thursday. I've got church Wednesday, and I've got some actually stuff I'm supposed to do tomorrow night. But I said in the next few days, maybe even if it's Friday, I said, you know, I'm gonna come see you. We'll go get us something to eat or something. You know, the Lord wants us to 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 take care of our friendships, guys. You know, he, there's reason we have friendships. You know, there's reason that God gives us friends, and he made that a part of our lives, you know. Uh, so I just want to remind everybody that, you know, if you've got a friend that you've not seen in a while or something, you just life has got too busy to see a friend or whatever, guys, you know, we need to do whatever we can to, to try to connect to people. And, and uh, you know, because that's one of the pleasures in life that God gives us, you know, is, is friends. Uh, so that's just, you know, the Lord's put that on me, so I figured I'd say that. All right, that's about that. Um, I tell you guys, uh, watching all these body guys and painters is about to get to me. Uh, you know, watching VW Darren and watching uh, uh, Milo's Garage, and uh, I don't know who else. Uh, the Rick Fix, and uh, and uh, all these other guys. Uh, the other guy, I can't think of his name. He just subscribed to me, and I can't think of his name. I'm sorry about that. He's got a 69 Firebird project that he's doing. Uh, anyway, they've all got me so amped up. I'm wanting to paint something, and I don't have anything to paint. Uh, you know, I don't have any old cars. I don't have I don't have anything to paint. Uh, I mean, I've even been looking on the internet, looking at at House of Color paint. That House of Color makes a paint that I love, Tangelo Pearl, and uh, I found it on eBay. Some guy had it on eBay selling it. He's uh, he's actually a House of Color dealer. And he sells it in uh, spray cans, mixes it in spray cans. And I th I come to her ordering a can of Tangelo Pearl spray can, and then they, you got to put a white base under it and then clear and everything. It'll probably cost me eighty dollars for three spray cans. But I thought about ordering it just to paint something with it. I mean, I just you know I've been wanting to paint something, and and, and I mean I'm talking about really paint something, not out of a spray can, but. I don't know. It's I'm going to, have to quit watching all these body guys. I guess uh, I'd like to have me a, what I'd like to do. I'd like to have a race, a set of race plastic for my bike. Uh, 
if I if I had a set, uh, you know, I could paint that. But you know, that's big money, and I really can't afford that right now. Of course, if I had a set of race plastic, probably to make it look good, I'd probably send it to Milo and let him paint it. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, just thought I'd kind of share that with you all. And, and one more thing, guys, uh, uh, Brother Woody, I do appreciate your email that you sent me. Uh, I know that you're praying for me. I've not read that email yet, so uh, you know I'm 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 going to read it here in a few minutes. But I, you know, I seen that your title was that you were praying. Uh, I'm in the Lord's prayer, so uh, you know prayers keeps us going. I mean it does. Uh, I, I appreciate you all praying for me. I pray for you all. Anytime you need prayer request, you let you let me know. And and anytime I need it, I'll let you guys know. And, and I just I just want you to know, guys, that I need your prayers right now, bad. I mean the devil's attacking me. Um, <clears throat> The, the church thing he's, he's he's getting me so aggravated with it and i know i shouldn't be but you know it's just i'm human and that's the way it is you know he's uh we've got a lot going on right now we're trying to get this nativity scene thing going we've got homecoming coming up and i'm scared to death we're going to end up at homecoming with this with this singing group there and there's nobody going to be there to watch them i mean i i'm scared to death of that you know we've got christmas coming up and all these different things uh, nobody's coming to church right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't. We've had no joke. We've had probably eight or ten people in the last two months quit coming. I don't know if they're all just sick. If the, I don't know, I don't know if they went to other churches. You know. But basically, I just broke down yesterday and I told them. You know, I think we had like fourteen people there. And I told them. I said, you know, guys, pray for me. I don't know. You know, I basically told them yesterday. I was I was going to resign yesterday from the church, and I just I didn't do it. But, you know, I told him, I said, you know, because that's what I said. I said, if it's me, I said, you know, I'm not I'm not wanting to jump shit. I said, but I, what I'm saying is if I, if these people are leaving or they're not coming, they don't feel like they need to come or they don't want to come because of me, then I'll, you know, I should leave. You know, I should leave before it runs the church into the ground. And, of course, you know, everybody can look to me. Oh, no, it's, you know, that's not it. It's not you. Uh, this and that. So I don't know, you know, like I said, and I guess they're right, but, you know, the devil just lies to us, and, uh, you know, so I need help there, guys, is what I'm saying. I mean, he, the devil's really been, he's been, really been attacking me. He's he's trying to get me to quit. I mean, he's trying to get me to quit the church, and, and he knows how to do it. I mean, that's it. That's the one thing that bothers me worse than anything is it, just, is, is, is not having people there, people not coming, you know, uh, and I know I know everybody can't come every Sunday, and I you know I realize that. Even though you know, I know some people that do. I mean, that's one of the things that I've got people that that since I've been going to church there probably for five years have not missed a Sunday. You know, I still say, well, if they can do it, everybody else can. You know, Dad, Dad has not missed a Sunday since I've been preaching. You know, he's been sick. He's had things happen in his life, but he's still there. You know, the preacher is there every Sunday. You know. But I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, I'm just, like I said, it's just, you know, the people, uh, you know, like I said, I just, you know, I, I, I feel like, I don't know, I just I just feel like we're not getting anywhere. And I just feel like, uh, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's my fault. And like I said, I may be wrong about that, uh, you know. But anyway, guys, I just, I just asked for prayer tonight. Let's see. Uh, what else? Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, I mean, it's, I'll get into the reading here in just a second, but uh, I guess it's about all I wanted to say. Um, you know, like I said, guys, just just pray for me. Um, you know, that's like one of the women told me yesterday. She said, you know, with there's just a lot of stuff going on in people's lives right now, and and this and that, and uh, you know, she said, you know, it's it's just right now is a bad time, you know. Churches, churches all over the country are having hard times getting people in. People, people, the worse their lives get, the more they run away from God, and that's the truth. We do that as a, as people. We run away from God when things go wrong instead of run to Him. And I don't know why we do that. You know, we get mad at Him, uh, but you know we can't do that. We cannot do that. We, we, you know, we can't we can't make it through life without Him. I don't know how people try, but. Uh, like I said, guys, just pray for me. 
I really need it when it comes to that. So anyway, let's get started today, guys. Acts chapter 13, starting in verse 23. Here we go. Of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think ye that I am? I am not he. But behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to lose. See, a lot of people thought John the Baptist was the Messiah because of just the, the, the power and the fire that he had. You know, because God had given it to him. This was his precursor to Jesus. He, you know, he was destined for John to have this. You know, John was the, John was the, uh, the second Elijah. I mean, so to speak. He wasn't physically Elijah. You know, but he he came in the spirit of Elijah. Men and brethren, verse twenty six, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwelt at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. And though they found no case of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. But God raised him from the dead. Praise the Lord for that. We, would, we wouldn't have a chance if this hadn't happened. And he was seen many days of which, excuse me, of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, how the promise that was made unto the fathers, God hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, and that he hath raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. So anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop tonight. Looks like about 10 verses. I do appreciate you guys for being here. I really do. Like I said, I appreciate all your prayers. Uh, Brother Woody, I really appreciate you for what everything you do. And I mean, I know there's more of you than Brother Woody that, that do these prayers and things for me. It's just me and Woody communicate more, I guess, than than uh, than any than the rest of us do. But, uh, you know, just keep praying for me, guys. And if you need anything, just because I need prayer, that does not mean that, that, that if you got something in your life that you really need prayer over, send it to me. I you know, I can that's the quickest way to get our own prayers answered, just to pray for somebody else. Most people forget that. They don't realize that, you know. Uh, God knows our problems. He knows what we need. Pray for somebody else and we'll see our own problems get fixed. You know, I've seen it. I've done it. I mean I, I literally I hardly ever pray for, for my pro my own problems anymore because I realize that. That, that that if I pray for somebody else, God will take care of my problems, you know. So it, it don't hurt to pray for ourselves and our problems, you know, but let's, let's think of other people first. Like I said, guys, let's try to do that. Let's try to rekindle an old friendship, a friend you ain't seen in a while. Like I said, the Lord's put that on me for some reason. Somebody out there I feel is, is needing to hear this, you know. Call that friend up you've not talked to in a while. I've got a friend right now that I've not talked to, another friend that I've not seen him in over a year. And I'm, uh, he's changed phone numbers, and I'm going to try to find phone a phone number for him. Matter of fact, my buddy that uh, that you know I was just talking about, I'm going to try to see this week. He should have it. I think he should have this this other friend's phone number. I'm going to call him. You know, I'm going to try to, you know, we need to try to do this stuff, guys. Keep our keep our friends as close to us as we can. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I love you all. Sorry for this being so long. Please, guys, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. The devil's attacking me so hard. Pray for me. I love you all. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. Until I see you again, good night and God bless.